Today we received a call for an AC not working. The first thing you want to do is obviously check the temperature coming out of your registers. Right now it's at 80.5. Next you want to go to where your return air is. This is usually where the filter and the blower is located and you want to take the temperature there. Right now it's at 82. So we do know right now we do have a problem. There should be at least a 15 to 20 degree difference from your return air to your register. Next what you will want to do is you'll want to throw your gauges and connect it to your condensing unit outside. So right here you can see my high side and my low side. My high side is giving me a reading. It is showing me that the compressor is running. The problem we're having with this one is that the uh, Freon is very low. Now this system right now has R22 in it. We're going to be converting it today to the R422B or the NU22. This is going to be the drop and replacement for the R22. What we're going to do now is we're going to replace the Schrader valves. Now there are many different Schrader valve removal tools. Uh, but you can see here, this is the old Schrader valve, and we're going to put in the new one. This is the new Schrader valve, and we're basically going to put the new Schrader valve inside. You want to do this on the high and the low side. Now, there are three things that I want to mention that I won't be showing on this video for lack of time, which I do have videos posted. Whenever you are doing a drop-in replacement for your R22, the first thing you want to do is perform an acid test. There are these little test strips that you put on your high or low pressure side and you basically press inside the Schrader valve and let it uh, touch the strip. If it changes color, you know that there's acid in your system. You'll have to basically do an acid flush in your system if that's the case. That's very rarely does it happen, maybe about 10% of the time. Um, secondly, you want to do a proper recovery on your system. And thirdly, you want to do a proper vacuum on your system. Make sure that you follow these steps. Uh, you'll do the acid test, you'll do the recovery, and then you'll do the vacuum. I do have videos posted on my channel showing you how to do that. But for lack of time, I won't be able to do it on this video. But make sure that you do follow the right procedures whenever you are working on your system. Once you finish performing a proper vacuum, you'll close your high and low pressure side on your gauges and you'll leave your gauges there for about half an hour to 45 minutes. You want to make sure that there is no other leaks in the system. If your needle moves up, you know that you have air coming into the line somewhere or you have a leak that is present. If it stays put, you know that you're ready to start charging with the new Freon. Once you have determined that there are no leaks present in your system, you'll go ahead and connect your Freon. This is going to be the R422B, uh, new 22B. It's the same exact thing. It really goes by manufacturer name, but it is properly called R422B. This is the drop and replacement for the R22 Freon. You'll connect your hose to your line, and what you'll do is you'll turn on or open your canister. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to turn your canister upside down. The new drop and replacement, the NU22B, the R422B, you are only able to charge it in liquid state. You cannot charge your system in gas. So what you'll do is you'll charge right now from your high side, make sure your system is off and you can start charging your system. I do want to make a quick mention. You want to make sure that you open up your line just a little bit to let the air out. You don't want air going back into the system when you charge it. So you'll just open it. So right now my system is still charging. Again, you can only charge in liquid state. That would be on the high side, making sure that your system is off. Once this reaches the retard position, then you can go ahead and turn your system on and charge your system as needed to level out your high and low pressure sides. Now what you'll do is, is you'll close your high side and then you can go ahead and turn your system on.
next you'll want to come inside the unit and you'll want to take the temperature coming out of the register you can see right now we're at 38 37 the temperature will continue to drop as the hot air is being sucked out by the return blowers once you have determined that your system is equalized I always recommend just like I do with the Schrader valves to replace your end caps these have a rubber seal which really prevent any um, pollution or corruption from the elements outside from causing damage to your Schrader valve so I always like to put on uh, one of these new caps that have the seal inside 